Hey everyone, welcome back to Beekeeping with Natalie, or welcome to if you are new. Today's video is going to be on a full hive inspection at the beginning of the year. This is the first hive inspection that we are doing. I did a little bit of feeding not that long ago, and um, we did some condensing them down, but we really haven't gotten into all the frames and checked the hives and just seeing if they're queenless and what's going on in there. So we're going to do that today. We've had some funky weather lately. It's been extremely windy. The wind yesterday was crazy and we had buckets flying everywhere and hives were falling over. It was, it was pretty bad. So I decided not to film just because I knew you probably wouldn't be able to hear me. It's a little windy today. It's usually windy at this yard just because we're up here on a hill, but it should be okay because I got my mic on. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and get into this hive today. And I came over here yesterday just because some of our hives were looking really dry. They needed some food or something just so they could make it. And we had a hive that actually starved out and they were they were chucked full of bees. And so that was really depressing just because there was a lot of bees in there that were just dead. And so we want to make sure that we're feeding them at this time because there's nothing for them right now. We actually have a really good amount of pollen coming in. The dandelions are just now starting to pop. The dandelions where we're at, it usually is a couple weeks behind or like a few days or a week or so. I don't know why that is, but it just seems to be that way where we're at. But on, alongside of the road, there's dandelions everywhere. So that might be coming in. There might be a little bit of maple still. I'm not exactly sure, but we'll have some hopefully some food for them in a few weeks but right now it's pretty dead and so we want to make sure that we're feeding them because i was looking in some hives yesterday and realized if we would have waited just a few more days i think a lot more of our hives would have starved all right so anyway enough of the depressing talk let's go ahead and get into these hives so i was here yesterday and i was just going ahead and feeding them it was weirdly rainy it would rain off and on there was a lot of thunder i wasn't sure if it was going to start raining or not so i again decided not to film anything but I wanted to go ahead and just give them some syrup just in case and so I was here yesterday they already have a pollen patty on they should and then they have some syrup a lot of our hives over here except for I think three of them maybe have bucket feeders I'm actually starting to realize how much I like bucket feeding it's just so much easier because you can prep all of it before you even get to the hive and then you just gotta tip it on top so they are up here getting the syrup this bucket is pretty much full it looks like it's a little bit lighter but like i said i put this on like not quite afternoon a little bit later yesterday so they're still working on it hopefully they're not too aggressive they should be okay it's actually pretty nice outside it's been really nice the weather has been nice except for yesterday and i think we are pretty much out of the really cold like 30s degree days it might get down into the 30s during the night or something but we're pretty much getting up into the 50s or 40s every day which has been really nice so what we're doing is with these doubles all of these are doubles so i'm going to go through all of these hives and basically take any of the brood that's up top and we're going to move it all into the bottom box so we're kind of changing up all the frames and where they're at so we're going to take all the brood and move it down to the bottom box and then any food or empty frames will go up top sometimes she's laid pretty much only in the top and there's not much in the bottom box so we'll just go ahead and flip the boxes this is something that takes some time though which isn't super fun just because it can take a while just to get through one hive and we were in the bees just all day yesterday and didn't get through all of them it's all right. I enjoy it though, just because it's the first thing that we're doing. The first main bee work of the year. So it's nice to be able to get back into the hives. So this is full of food, which is good. We had some that were just completely dry. So it's exciting to see this. I'm going to go ahead and set this down and we're just going to keep moving through. I'm not going to check every single frame just because that's going to take a while. So I'm going to kind of move into the middle until I see what might be brewed. There might not be any brood up here. It might just be food, which is totally fine, but I'm still going to try and get down into that bottom box just to make sure that she's laying. So that's another thing that we're doing today is making sure that they are, they've got a queen. So we've got some brood here. There's um, some drone brood also. 
This stuff that kind of pops out a little bit more up here is the drone brood. I've been seeing a lot more drones um, on the frames. So there's already some brood up here, so I'm going to move that down to the bottom box, but I'm going to kind of just keep moving through and checking to see how they look. Hopefully we'll be grafting soon, actually. Recently got a new grafting stand, which I'm excited to use later in the videos. This is a nice, good frame of brood here. It's exciting to see that. I think I'm gonna check maybe one or two frames and then I'm gonna go down into the bottom box. Hopefully this box isn't too heavy. It looks, this looks great. I'm just gonna check one more frame cause she might be up here in this top box. I brought a queen clip just in case I found her in the top box and wanted to clip her, but I forgot it over there. So this is completely full of larva. There's a lot of royal jelly in those cells, which is always exciting. Yeah, this looks really good. But I'm still going to move it to that bottom box. So I know I said one more frame, but one more. And then we'll go down to that bottom box. So this looks like there's a lot of pollen on here. All right, so that's about the last frame of brood. So I can't remember if that was like three or four frames of brood, but let's go ahead and take this box off and get down to that bottom box. The pollen patty should be in between boxes, so it'll probably get stuck. I'm gonna move this frame over here. And then I like to just lay the lid down and then set the box on top of the lid here. Maybe I can get this. Hold on, <laughs> our bees have so much propolis. I feel like it's really bad this year. There we go. Okay, got it. Every time when I'm done working bees, there's just propolis everywhere. Okay. I'm not seeing a pollen patty. I'm not sure why that is. There's also a feeder in the bottom box. Um, I don't know why there's a feeder in the bottom box. They're usually at the top, but. All right, we had to stop for a second there, but I'm gonna get down on my knees and check them this way. Yeah, so I don't know why there's not a pollen patty in here, and I also don't know why there's a feeder in here at least in the bottom box, it should just be in the top, but we'll switch that around. They don't need a frame feeder anyways though, because they have a bucket feeder, but I don't have any extra frames with me, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and put this in there. Also thought I'd mention we have a different person filming today. Usually, a lot of people know at this point that my mom always films my videos, and I have, like, I'm not a tech person, I feel like most people think I am because I'm a teenager, but I I'm, have no idea how any of that works. So anyways, Emily, my sister's filming today. So if it's bad angles, then you know why. I'm just kidding. Wow, this is completely full of pollen. I don't know if you can see that, but it's just that whole frame. It almost looks like there's nothing in it because every single cell is basically filled with pollen. So that's good. So is this side. Sweet. Um, I'm going to keep going through this box. I can already tell. I don't think there's going to be any brood up here or down here. I'm thinking she probably laid all in that top box. So if that's the case, then I'll just go ahead and flip the boxes. That way I don't have to move any frames around really. That's why you want to check that top box before you pull this box off or that box off because if you get down to the bottom box and there's like no eggs, 
and you might think that they're queenless, but really it's all just in the top box. Yeah, this is just chuck full of pollen. It's always interesting to see how they have it laid out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is all just gonna be food. So we're just gonna switch these boxes, I think is the best idea. And then I'm just gonna put their feeder back on and then I'll move on to the next hive. So it's not hard work, it's just time consuming, especially when you've got hundreds of hives to go through, but it can really help them out a lot. So we'll be getting ready for splitting season pretty soon here. We were just talking about how it's about to get really hot and really busy. All right, so the last two frames looked fairly empty, so I'm actually just gonna put this all back together how it was, even the feeder in this box, because I'm just gonna flip it. Um, so next time we come over here, the only thing about having these out yards is we never have any supplies with us, hardly ever, or at least the right stuff that we need. We'll get everything except the one thing that we need. So next time we're back here, I'll make sure to bring an extra frame. That way we can switch this feeder out because they don't really need it unless we decide to not do bucket feeding. But this yard is typically going to be only bucket feeding. That's how we like to do our yards. We like to have all of the hives at the same same spot, same feeding methods. That way it's just easier. So I'm gonna take this box off. So I'm just assuming that she's probably in that top box then. I probably missed her actually. Not sure what's on that handle. There we go. There's a lot of lifting, which isn't super fun for me, but it's okay. Getting a little feisty. And then I'm just gonna put this box right on top of here. Propolis is crazy. Let's see if I can get this on. There we go. These four wood pallets are really nice, actually. I really like them. I have a frame that I set out here that I'm gonna go ahead and put in now. I also don't have any pollen patties with me. It's kind of coming over here just to do a video. So I didn't really bring much with me. Just gonna put them back together, put this next box on top. There we go. And then I'll put the lid on and put the bucket back on and we'll be done with this hive. All right. I think that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through the rest of these and basically do the same thing and then we'll be done for now and we'll keep you updated for what the next step is in these bee yards. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section. Thanks for watching this video. Follow along for more bee adventures and be here next time on Beekeeping with Natalie.